Hey guys, what's going on? We're playing another Shadow Warrior. Uh, chapter 2. Um, I'm using a new recording device. Um, the other one I was using for a while, I had to give back. I was long-term loaning it. Uh, so now I'm using something else. So hopefully it, the quality is good. I did like the quality of the last several videos. Uh, I think I used it for like half a year. So uh, maybe more than half a year. And I'm getting cornered because I'm talking and I'm getting distracted and then I got cornered in this alleyway. This is kill all these guys, fuck all you guys. Gay, 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 gay. Okay, cool. Oh, sliced him right through the stomach. Nice. Hey, look, three stars. That's the most I've gotten. Um, and I need to fix something real quick. Um, stupid fucking button's not working. Technical errors. Okay, now we're back. I'm not trying to do Circle of Iron, I'm trying to do the healing. Jeez. Did I get a point? Oh, no I didn't. Okay, cool, I just wanted to check that, okay. I had a brain fart and forgot how to use the healing spell. All right, well that was a harrowing start because I was distracted. So let's just, uh, all right, so I have some bullets, not a lot, but some. All right, I think we've got everything, so let's continue up the road here. Always keep a lookout for uh, health or ammo. Cool, a game arcade. Let's screenshot that. That's pretty cool looking. Cool. I mean, I know the game is limited with the amount of sprites it could use because it was an indie game, so that's why the all of the cabinets you pick stuff up look the same and all of these, there's like four different arcade games, but that's about it. So there's like 20 of each. So that's fine, it looks cool. And I'm almost dead, so let me grab that spirit. Thank you. Hey, look, three and a half. They like that even more. All right, I got a karma point, so let's learn something. Sure, that's useful. So now a med kit will heal me to 120 health points instead of 100, so that's pretty cool. Oh, that's right. The katana, you don't buy the upgrades. You uh, just get them throughout the level, throughout the game at certain points. But you can buy stuff for the gun, so we're going to buy that so we can be more accurate. All right, cool. All right, and we're good. Ooh, a medkit. Oh, no, it doesn't heal you to 120. It just heals you 20 extra points. Of, I think it heals 60 by itself, so now it heals 80 or something. What was that, 65? So it does 50. I can do math in my head. Instead of only healing 30, it heals 50. So that's pretty useful. Me what? Hello? 
Seriously, I fell down and now I have to go back around the arcade again. God, it's annoying. All right, let's go up the stairs again. World's slowest FPS player. Ah, but I missed that before. Hey, those nine bullets may be the difference between life and death. This Easter egg made me laugh so much when I first saw it. It's Godzilla in the background just walking around. I thought that was hilarious. All right, more bullets, cool. Uh, let's explore down here first before we go outside. Uh, looks like I can't destroy them, but I can drink to this. Hey, it's a secret. Look at that. Right here. This is where I was going. Yes. Anything here? No, it looks pretty empty. And uh, here we go. What now? Demon vultures? You can't kill them in one shot with a headshot, but it's just kind of hard to do. Hey, easy with the bleed. This is dry clean home. So now we have our basic melee demon, and then we have the basic sheer demon. And missed with that power attack. Cool. Man, I got pretty hurt there. That's cool. Did she kill all these people? No. Protecting her or massacring everything else. Apparently, it's all the same to them. All right, so where do we go from here? This door's locked, and there's nothing here. Should I go back here? I don't think so. Again, it's been four years since I played this game. I really don't remember everything about it. Okay, we can't break that. That door's locked with a seal that I didn't see a seal for. You know, how you supposed to break him? Didn't see one. Uh, nothing here. None of these doors open. None of these sewers open. Maybe I am supposed to go back here. No, you're not supposed to backtrack through the roofs. That's stupid. There has to be something here in this street that I'm missing. I just don't see anything. Okay, you can't go that way. There's not anything you can climb on or get up on the roof or anything. All right, so why don't you just skip ahead a few minutes until I figure this out because it's just gonna be me running around trying to figure out what to do. Maybe you really are supposed to backtrack here for some reason. Maybe there's something I missed, like a lever or something. Did 
Okay, so you're definitely not supposed to go that way. So I... Sorry. What's back here? Oh, shit. I didn't even see this before. Okay, duh. <laughs> okay, now we destroyed the barrier. Now the blue barrier we can go through the hallway. I don't know why I didn't see that before. Probably because I'm autistic. Okay. Let's pretend those last two minutes never happened. Ooh, a chi crystal. Now, most of these I don't actually use. Uh, the shield thing's useless. Uh, this water trap sounds cool, though. And the shockwave I never really used. So you have to hold down a button, and it blocks 40% of attacks. That's all it does. You can't do anything else while you do that. Like, that's completely useless. Just run away. Yeah, let's use this water trap. And then forget to ever use it in combat. It's pretty, uh... Fiery for a water trap. <laughs> okay. It's fiery water. Okay, whatever. Uh, yeah, I don't think I ever learned that one the last time, the only other time I played this game, so. Alright, cool. I basically just used healing. Yeah, that's basically all I used last time. I stacked all my points into that. Did we, uh, yeah, okay, we got everything here. Cool. Oh, that's the way I came, duh. Man, I really gotta remember to reload after a fight. Look, I'm reloaded. How about that? <laughs> okay. Uh, nothing here, just dead end, so let's go towards the cop car. And I never use Demon Hearts because I just never think oh, of using it. The sheriff. Let's see if he brought some decent weapons. Ooh. Now who in their right mind would leave? Oh, shit. Please explode. Come on. It's interesting how the handle is the magazine. Some guns are like that, like the MP40, the German submachine gun. So this is actually one of the few decent guns you get in this game. One of my favorites because its clip is actually pretty big. Unlike most weapons, their clip is pretty small. Um... It doesn't do a lot of damage, as you saw, so one of the first things we're going to do is upgrade its damage, because without it, you just waste a bunch of bullets. But once you upgrade the damage, you know, 80 bullets for this thing does a decent amount of damage. Sorry about that, I had to deal with something with real quick. But, okay, now we're back to it. 
he even said in the thing, uh, they stopped making those guns because uh, copyright from a German manufacturer. It looks like an MP40, sort of. MP40 has a straight magazine, that one's curved, but one of your hands does go on the magazine to grip it. Okay. Those uh, fortune cookies are hit or miss when it comes with whether they're funny or not. Uh, where was that? Hear demons, but I don't see it. Now I see them. Okay, cool. Like, th this game just has so much more atmosphere and just, it just feels better because it's a linear, straight game, unlike the second one. The second one just lost that uh, atmosphere uh, with the home base kind of thing. And uh, the story wasn't as good, and most of the guns were useless. I mean, I guess you kind of say about this one, too. But, I don't know, this game is much more simpler in what it was trying to do. The combat's simpler, the enemies are simpler, they have less sprites for everything. But they, what it was, it just did what it was trying to do better. Shadow Warrior 2, I think, was trying to do too many things. It became like a looter shooter. And it just lost the atmosphere and the... This grit of the these simple fights like this, you know what I mean? So... And we just exploded a bunch of cars, so I got hurt, which gets really cool. I don't know how I exploded cars with a sword, but I... Cool, just managed to do that. Like, for example, we've been in this town, this is the second level. Uh, you're in this town for like three or four more levels, so like it just, you stay in one place long enough to build an atmosphere, feel like you're really there. Unlike the second one, which all the levels are really short and you're constantly jumping around, it just didn't, just didn't have that same feel. Same thing, prob same problem I had with uh, Doom 2016 versus Doom Eternal. Doom Eternal had way more combat, way more options and stuff uh way more locales but they were all so short and you're constantly jumping around and it was so bright it didn't have the same atmosphere in the the, the dark atmosphere specifically that doom 2016 says even though doom 2016 is simpler the combat simpler is not as fast paced but it's still pretty fast paced to be honest it just was a simpler game and it just did it better it's funny how these two went in tandem with that Oh, I can't heal past 77. Okay, cool. Because yeah, Shadow Warrior came out in 2013, then Dune 2016 came in, guess what, <laughs> 2016. And then Shadow Warrior 2 came out, I believe, in 2018-ish. And then Doom Eternal came out in 2020. Why do they want the Nobitsura Kage? The ancients are immortal beings. They rule the shadow. So they want it? Uh, yeah.
Just mowing them down like daisies. Seriously? I was that good and you got me one and a half stars? Like, whatever. This can be a constant complaint throughout this game. All right, we're yet in another bamboo forest. Lots of white bunny rabbits. Start the entire game, you just see white bunny rabbits. Oh, I have a karma point. Uh, let me spend that. No, not that. I meant skills, not powers. Nah, we'll do that later. Sure, let's learn armed. So now we just find more ammunition in general. That's useful because uh, ammunition is kind of scarce the first couple levels. And I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do that. Yeah, there we go. Oh, he was already dead. Cool. Reap what you sow. It's, uh, it's a lot of bad guys crossing that bridge over there. And we have nowhere else to go but down here in this sewer, I guess. Alright, and there's nothing over there. Okay, cool. So we can only go one way. Man, I, I can't see them that well through the foliage. I, I can't tell exactly where they are. Let me back up a little bit. Okay, now I can see... Nope. Foliage is still in the way. All right. Okay, you're still alive, and now you're not. Okay, that body decided to randomly blow up. To like this. Oh, you even got more on the way. The combat is pretty basic at first because there's like only three different enemies. So we have humans, we have the melee demons, and we have the shooting demons, and that's all we've fought so far. But they introduce many later. It's just uh, they do it slowly, which is which is good. There's not an overload of uh, of differences like it. Each enemy is introduced gradually, so you get to learn how to fight them, and then they introduce a new one, so forth and so forth. Guess I was just too much way for them to handle. All right, decent on ammo, decent on health, nothing over here, let's go this way. <laughs> Yet another bamboo forest. What, did I just make a circle? I think I did. I think that's where I just came from. Easy to get turned around here.
All right, and the reason for that jump is because my recording software decided to just not record the last couple of minutes of this level because OBS sometimes acts like a bitch for, like, no reason. I can't figure out why. It's not that common, so it, it doesn't happen often enough for me to uh, identify the problem. But uh, so I'm just going to redo this last couple of minutes because it didn't record. Oh, that's my stomach. I don't know if the recording picked that up. I'm kind of hungry. I'm mean, going to eat some breakfast after this. But I'm a hobbit, so it's second breakfast. I've already, already ate breakfast, but that was like two hours ago. Excuse me. Alright, and this is where the game ups the ante a lot. They introduce this new kind of like uh, mini boss enemy, this big demon that can grapple you just like you just right there, and then he hits you unless you immediately run away. So, this is like the first big fight. This is like showing you what the game is truly about. Everything was a warm up compared to this. They throw a lot of enemies at you. Fortunately, they give you move. They give you room to move around, so that's good. We're just gonna run away. I don't suggest fighting the big guy oh, with a sword. He'll just beat the crap out of you with his big mace. So we'll take out these small guys with the sword and save the guns for this guy. His grapple is pretty easy to uh, dodge if you're paying attention, which I usually don't, but... <laughs> then he shoots that big uh, semicircle of flames, which is kind of hard to dodge. Oh, look at that skill. And you just shoot him in the head all day long. See? Easy to sidestep. And that's basically his only two ranged attacks. I knew you were trying to compensate for something. Alright, but the fight's not done yet. We they throw a lot of small guys now. Here, have some shrinkins. Ooh, that was actually a pretty good dodge. I commend you for that. All right, they're dead. Let's go over here and heal. Okay. Like, the amount of enemies they throw in this arena is way more than anything else you fought before. Alright, I don't have a whole lot of ammo for either gun, so let's just take these guys out with a sword. And, what? Well, wait, there's more. Billy Mays. Oh, there's more. Not out of the clearing yet. And it just keeps coming. <laughs> cool. Didn't like my fighting there either. Well, fuck you. <laughs> but I did get a karma point, so... Sure, let's use that. Yeah, this move's cool. I like this move. When you're surrounded, you just uh, use that move and it 
cuts in 360. Oh, oops, I chopped the statue by accident. Uh, it's pretty useful when you're getting gangbangs from all corners. So I, I did use that a lot when I played this game last. I don't think I used any other of the sword powers, though. I think I just used the circle and then the charge. And that's it. That's level two. We just exit here and bada bing bada boom. Fun stuff. See you guys next time.